Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review. Um, it's been a long time between videos and my hair is a mess and everything's just crazy. But uh, yeah, the reason it's taken so long to do another video um, is because we've just recently built this house. We've just moved in, we've had a ton of things going on. So we've only just had a really quick chance to get this video done. The room's not even set up properly, don't even have proper lighting set up or anything like that. So I hope it's decent to watch. Um, and basically what I'm doing today is reviewing the Polar Pro Slate, which is an SD card holder. It is bloody awesome. I owe an apology to Polar Pro because they did send me this back in March and asked me to do a review on it back then. There was a media embargo on it, which means that uh, anyone who did receive it wasn't supposed to release a review to a certain date when they released the product. But that was back in like March sometime, so it's been a long time since then. So I apologize for that. Like I said, just been flat out busy. So what I'm gonna do first of all, so show you some sexy shots of the Polar Pro, a little bit of B-roll, uh, then we'll come back here and I'll tell you what I think, the price and all that other stuff. So firstly, hope you enjoyed the sexual footage. And uh, I'll tell you what you get in the box. You get the little sleeve, the cardboard's in, you get this little plastic thing. I've taken it apart and it's everywhere. Um, you get a few little cards. One of them is uh, about their app. They have an app where you can choose an ND filter. So you put your settings in, it tells you what filter you should use. Because um, if for anyone who doesn't know, Polar Pro are probably best known for their filters. I've got a few for the Mavic drone and they are bloody awesome. Um, and something about their new filter collection called Quartz Line. And just quickly, uh, as I said before, Polar Pro did send me this to review, but that's not gonna change my opinion. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you. So yeah, uh, lifetime warranty, which is amazing. Not many products these days offer that kind of warranty, so it's really good. Um, yeah, and what's this? A thank you card, which is really, really nice as well. And looks like you get two Polar Pro stickers, which is really cool too. Uh, in this nice little envelope. So yeah, packaging is absolutely amazing. Let's get onto the product. Here it is here, the Polar Pro Slate. You've seen some close-up footage of it. Um, the one thing I'll say about this is the workmanship, the quality is absolutely amazing. Like the materials, it's made of some kind of, um, I think it's aluminium and some kind of metal. Um, absolutely beautiful. The hinge is really nice. The clasp is really, really nice. And the injection molding on the inside is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I guess a good thing about me leaving this review for so long is the fact that I have been using this since I've received it from Polar Pro. So it is a long-term review. It's not just like I've got it, used it for two minutes and then said, yeah, it's amazing. And then you get it and the bloody hinge breaks off or something like that. So I've used it for a long time and I've been really, really impressed with it. So there are two versions of this. Let me just look at my computer screen really quickly. Um, this is the standard version. So it holds eight micro, uh, sorry, eight SD cards and 16 micro SD cards. So it's a ton of cards, obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, I don't know if you can see that. Then in the little uh, indents there, that's where the micro SD cards go. So it's really, really nice. Then they also have an XQD uh, variant, which holds four XQD cards, four micros and four standard. Now I don't use XQD cards, so this was perfect for me. And it, this is the kind of thing I would never have probably thought I would have needed because I just keep my, I used to keep my SD cards in the little cases or even just loose on my desk. And I thought I was pretty good at not losing things, but moving house proved otherwise because I found about seven or eight SD cards down the back of my desk that I never would have known about. So every time I was looking for a card and I didn't have one, I'd usually just go out and buy one thinking I probably didn't have one or maybe I'd, I'd start to think, oh, maybe I only had one of those cards, but I've literally found like three or four of the cards I'm using in this camera, which are the really good fast ones. So um, yeah, having something like this would have avoided that because I would have chucked it straight in here and when I go to jobs, would have kept this in my backpack or in my pocket and it would have just kept them safe. Um, not only safe from losing them, but safe from being damaged or you know eaten by animals or pets, whatever. So uh, I've got a dog here who will eat absolutely everything. So yeah, this is absolutely awesome. It'll take a while for a dog to chew through this. If they'd even get through it, I don't know. It's very, very solid. So. Let's get on to the pricing. Um, just got it up on my computer here. I didn't pay for it, as I said, they did send it to me for free, which was awesome, thanks again. Uh, so it looks like in Australia, they're about $69. This on a website called catch.com.au, but it is basically the price I've seen in Australia. And it looks to be about 
$39.99 US dollars, and that's for both versions, the SD and XQD versions, look to be the same price, which is really good. So the one thing, if if I saw this in the shop, you know, hanging, hanging by this in the shop, it was $69. I'm not sure if it's something I would have purchased because at the time I thought, oh yeah, storing my cards like that isn't very important. But once I got it and used it, saw the materials, the workmanship, just how nice and solid it is. And just the past few months, it's just remains to be as solid as it was since the day I got it. Judging by that, I would spend that and I would buy this. So if you are thinking of something like this and you've seen it at the shop and you're thinking, you know, $69 is quite expensive, I'd say just go for it because when you start using it, you'll see the quality, you'll see the materials. And yeah, just the fact you can store your cards really nicely. The good thing is the cards actually fit in here quite snug, but they also come out nice and easily. So you're not trying to retch your cards out for two hours, which is really, really good. Another thing I really thought of when it came to the price is that what my footage was worth to me. If I went and shot a job and then I lost a card on the way back to the office or a card got damaged or something, um, that would cost me more than this one little case, which is like a one-off purchase would. So for me, it's... <laughs> I probably wouldn't have said this before having one, but now that I've got one, to me, it's a no-brainer. And I think if you're doing a lot of work and your SD cards are in and out of your cameras and you need somewhere safe to store them, don't go cheap. Just get something like this. Like I said, the quality is absolutely amazing. Don't just carry them around in your pocket or throw them in your backpack because I've done that also and I've misplaced them that way. And um, yeah, just having this for the past few months has been absolutely awesome. I've really, really enjoyed using it and I'll continue to use it, definitely. So. Uh, massive thank you to Polar Pro for sending this. Like I said, it wasn't going to change my review. I do still think it's on a bit more of the pricier side, but at the same time, seeing these materials, the way it's built, I don't think, I think it's worth that. I really do. I really think it is worth that price, but it does seem expensive, but until you hold it and use it, you won't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope that this video helped you make a decision if you are on the fence about buying one. If you've got any questions about it, let me know in the comments below and I'll help out if I can. Otherwise, I'm sure Polar Pro will be more than happy to uh, answer your questions. And uh, yeah, sorry once again to Polar Pro for taking so long to get this video done, but at least you've had a long-term review and not just you know a quick review where I've used it for two minutes and then, yeah, so it's still in one piece. It's hardly scratched. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, hope you have a good day.